Canadian rap artist extraordinaire Baba Brinkman riffed on mathematical biology this spring as Nimbus songwriter in residence. While at UT, he performed an excerpt from his award-winning off-Broadway show Rap Guide to Evolution to an enthusiastic crowd. What you are listening to is a track he wrote for Nimbus entitled Rising Up 350 about the problem of climate change. Nimbus sat down with Baba to talk about what it's like to be the bard of modern biology as resident songwriter at Nimbus. I arrived here about a month ago and uh, over the past month I moved into an office here at Nimbus and uh, set up some uh, musical composition equipment, had a co-songwriter who writes the melodies and the beats and I was working on the lyrics and my daily activities were generally meeting with postdocs and directors and uh, people in the evolutionary biology and ecology department and just learning about what they were researching and um, trying to find the kernels of how the research that's happening here uh, will, will be interesting or relevant to people who don't understand or, or don't have any background on the technical side of what people are doing. I, well, as a kid, I was interested in biology and uh, it was the field biology side of things that attracted me. But I think a lot of the people who are working here are working post field research or working on the data that was collected during field research and finding ways to crunch the numbers and quantify it and, and, and square it with models. So, um, you know, the, the, the day on the river was my most memorable experience, but you, you sort of need uh, the data you collect on the rivers not useful unless you have a way to process it, and it's the processing that's happening here, and that's uh, something I had never encountered either. The scientific consensus, which says there's an upper limit of 350 parts per million of So what I'm hoping is that when people come to the music, both the music of the previous songwriters and what I'm working on, they'll see that, um, you know, that there's something valuable in this, that there's a bridge to be made between uh, what's happening in the laboratory, which isn't necessarily being communicated to the public, and what the public takes an interest in, which generally tends to be like music on their iPod and pop culture stuff and entertainment. And, uh, and I'm hoping that entertainers like myself can actually have an impact and, and have that be an impact that's uh, you know, in some way quantifiable or justifiable as something that's worth funding uh, you know, from a scientific outreach perspective. Science communication through music, I think, has great potential. And uh, the Songwriter in Residence program here is, uh, has, has, been, has been sort of prescient and forward-looking in that regard. And um, I hope I'm not the last of a dying breed. I hope the breed, uh, you know, finds new niches and proliferates through the, uh, uh, the uh, adaptive radiation model of ecological spread of organisms. Climate deniers tend to believe in free markets, but free markets lack mechanisms to reach targets. They're just as likely to leave us knee deep in garbage next to a sea full of carcasses. We need an armistice, an arms control agreement. 